think it's a sign that wherever we go to these haunted places, there's always a vulture. The following video is not a polished episode. It is purely the highlights from a live stream investigation done on a phone and at the mercy of reception. These videos are designed to show you some unique places, give you the history, and give you any happenings that we might have had. Are they paranormal? I'll let you decide. The Missouri State Penitentiary was built in 1836 and went on to be known as one of the most efficient in the country, housing over 5,200 inmates. It was also infamous for its notorious inmates over time, such as James Earl Ray, who assassinated Martin Luther King Jr., and Pretty Boy Floyd, whose gang of bank robbers went on a killing spree across the state of Missouri. It had serial killers too, such as Charles Ray Hatcher, who murdered 16 people in just 12 years. He ended up committing suicide in the penitentiary. 40 people were executed in the gas chamber, but there were many more deaths in the prison, including suicide and murder. There was even a riot in 1954 where four inmates were killed. It eventually received the nickname, the 47 bloodiest acres. It shut down in 2004. The first building that we were to investigate was Housing Unit 4, or A-Hole. The oldest building still remaining on site. All right, well, where we are is finally made it to the Missouri Penitentiary, or the Missouri State, is it State Yeah, Missouri State yeah. Penitentiary. So, absolutely amazing. I'm not going to start from outside tonight, because at the end of the day, we are very limited on time. We've got three and a half hours. We did have five, but we've been kind of doing a little tour. It is huge. Oh, massive. It's huge, it's creepy, and it makes the Adelaide Jail look like a pussycat. <laughs> so, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the building behind us, but there's another big block over there that's got death row over there. Then we've got the women's block over here. And then this block over here, which actually has dungeons as well. I'll try and light it up a little bit for you. Um, okay, looks like a church from this side, doesn't yeah. it? So we're going to take you inside. Come on in. We'll show you this block. I'm not going to take you on a grand tour because that's fine when we're in little places, but this is sprawled out and you would be on here for hours. So we're just going to take you into one spot. We'll do a quick investigation for you guys in here and then we are going to go solo. Aren't we we are going solo. I know. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that, but come on in. <laughs> now we do have lights set up around the place, so if it blinds a little bit, we will be behind them soon, but I don't know how much you can see. There's three levels of creepiness in here. And this isn't the creepiest block. No. By far. Now, in its heyday, I was told that it was holding about three, three and a half thousand people here at any one time. He was saying that sometimes there was seven, seven prisoners per cell, and these are small cells. Five thousand three hundred. Oh, sorry, five thousand three hundred. Five thousand three hundred. Yeah, I know. Just as an example of one of the cells, in the beds. So can you imagine seven people, it's stifling hot in here as well, seven mm. people in one of these little rooms. I like the way they have the phone boxes in here. Might, they might have just moved them yeah. though, do you think? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know actually, they're not, no, they're fastened down to the ground. Yeah. So they're fastened down there. you got to look at this cell though. Oh, this is a cool one. This is from the 1800 era. 
This is one of the original doors here. So you stand right next to it? And if I stand next to it, I'm five foot four. So it gives you an idea on how big these cells used to be. So this is the last original one. I could try and just show them downstairs. If we clip out, I'll come hurrying back up again. What do you reckon? Just to show you them. You can do. Yeah, all right, there's some dungeon type cells. I, don't, I very much doubt you'll get, but we'll give it a try. If we go off, just We'll hold. come straight back up. Yeah, we'll try and come back on again. This wasn't a shower block, by the way. This used to be cells down here. Now, this is the dungeons. Not creepy. No. In the slightest. And down there. So they go around the corner. Yeah. We won't take you too far in. We can see if you can just see into one of them. Oh, dropping out a little. Dropping out? Alright. Very quickly into here. Oh, no. Dropped out. Alright. Let's go. So, as you can see, we're limited to. Oh, we do want to do something for you. So, we're limited to this area here. To do this for you we're going to get stuck straight into the investigation um, we do know it was called oh, i got the nickname 47 bloodiest acres in Aus in america because of the violence and the murders and um, it was a very brutal place to be so in here to us it's fairly dark in here i'm out of breath i know so am i <laughs> going up and down the stairs it's just so warm guys, it's actually taking your breath away, it's quite warm. Very, very humid. What's the temperature in here? Let me just go and have a look at the temperature. Alright, it's nearly 27 degrees at the moment in this building and there's no air. There is a fan, we've turned the fans off up here, there is a fan behind us. Yeah. You heard that? We're just wondering if there's anybody here tonight with us. We've just been hearing some sounds. I'm not sure you would have had women in this block, so hopefully it's up. And again. And again. And a footstep thing up here. So my name's Alison. My name's Cag. And we've travelled all the way from Australia. Talk to you. Does that sound like There's a lot of sounds around. Yeah. I know you've got no reason to talk to us. And I understand that. Behind. That's, now that's. Is that one of those that's insects? The bat. Right. Oh yeah. There's a, if you hear a very high pitched sound, there's a bat in here. Which you may see flying around. So if you're there, these are bits of equipment that we've got around the place. That's the only way that I'm going to know you're here. Unless you choose to show yourself. If you can make any of these bits of equipment go off. Did you hear that again? I thought that was you. Oh, that whistle. I heard it standing in the dungeon. So I just stand those stairs. So it's down there, guys. And those stairs. I can't whistle. Can you whistle, Kate? Okay? No, I'm not very good at whistling. Oh my god, did you hear that? Seriously. 
Now, it can't be a bird, can it? Is it a bird? It's night now. It'll be all roosted. I haven't got a bird like that. And we'll get somebody to listen to it. I suppose um, India. Oh, shh. Up down there. That was a loud one. That was a loud one. Well, thank you. If that was you making sounds and whistling to my side. Yeah. Thank you. That was you. Are you reaching out? You don't have to do the equipment. I'm going to put a little box down. I'm sure you've seen it before. So I'm just going to put it down here on the floor. And then if you want to speak into it, there. There. All right, we've given you our name. Names. Oh, stuck behind us down there. Can you give us your name, please? Whoever's here, whoever's whistling. Well, we're talking to you like there's one person, but maybe there's a, a lot more. How many of you are still here in this building? Getting down there. So that was for you, and you have said anything. Thank you. We're just going to listen back. To hold any thoughts or comments, and I'll have a listen and just see if there's anything on there. Let's see if we've got that whistle. Ox input mode. And then, if you want to speak into it, there. And um, Jody, I'll go out and say it happens a lot there. Yeah, does it? Yeah. We're talking to you like there's one person, but maybe there's a, a lot more. How many of you are still here in this building? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this building. Don't know. We're still here in this building. Interesting, I've not heard it since we finished. No. I've not heard it since we finished. It since we finished. No. Um. They have death row here, big one. They had the guy who shot Oswald, who shot JFK here. EDI. And you just turned Mr. Blue. Temperature change? Air pressure. Can you do that again, please, if that was you? He escaped, though, didn't he? Yeah, in a, was it a bread, a bread box? box. Yeah, he escaped in the bread box. Thank you. Excellent. So sudden cold change and change in air pressure. So I was told that the people in here would maybe have no interest in talking to us. They were women. And B, because of the segregation. Let's whistle again. Mm -hmm. Seemed fainter that time down here. Yeah. See, that's the other thing, it's coming from down in the basement. But it's not constant.
Did you hurt somebody? I don't know, I'm... I'm talking about having this on, I'm... But hey, it's... not saying that good in this... Stop, you can't hear the noises, can you? The it building. stops us listening mm. to the building because it is so noisy. And tonight, I almost feel like I want to listen to the building. We can put Vox on because that's not noisy in between. Mm -hmm. You can do that. God, it's hot. This is, isn't it? I am drenched. I think I feel back here. If anybody's with us tonight, there's a lady sat on the chair over there. She's got some funny things on her ears. So you, you can try and talk to her if you want to. Which one was your cell? Okay. Oh, while well, she's got her hand out, must be something going off there. Can you make a noise in it for me? I'm just going to say, I don't yeah. know if people can hear me or not. Right. You might have to translate because I'm quite a distance away from the microphone. I was putrid, hot over there, mm -hmm. over here. Did you hear that? I thought, I'm particularly on, I thought I saw a shadow there. Um, here, I'm actually cold. Okay. That was Vox making a funny noise. Please. Okay, we'd rather not, if possible. I'd like to talk to you if we could. Okay. I'm not hearing him. I'm not hearing anything that would be anything out of the box. No. Unless whatever's in here just doesn't want to talk. I heard one word leave, and that was it. And it could be. I mean, is it working tonight? Well, no, it wouldn't work overnight. It wasn't working the other night. Um. Yes, yeah, so that's what we think, Jodie. They probably just don't want to talk. I don't, I, the whole impression I am getting in here. Don't want to talk? No. That's all right. We're not here to make you talk or pester you too much. Another noise behind us. I think I, I think I said they just don't want to. There's nothing. There's nothing coming through on EVP. Do you know when sometimes they just don't want to talk? Do they? We're not going to shout or abuse at you or anything like that. We're not that sort of. We're not that sort. Of, there's that sort of person, are we? Really? No. We just don't do that. Don't know. It's almost like. Footsteps, but like somebody shifting their way. Yeah, because you got that little bit of gravelly stuff. We're just happy to be here. We've always wanted to come. What a privilege to be here! Hey. Eh? All right. Well, we're going to go, guys. Sorry, it wasn't. It's the way. It is. So I can't say if any of those noises are natural when the whistling. The whistling was coming from down in the basement, so there shouldn't be any birds down there. Um, it's the way of the paranormal. So we're going to go over to death row, go and see if we can get something happening over there. So this is this big creepy building here. 
right. And the guys are lapping in the background because they probably know how terrifying this is. And Keg, what are we doing? <laughs> we're debating whether we get the guys to come with us. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to do some solos, were we not? So this building is massive, you're saying? This building is absolutely massive because not only have you got these floors up for here, either side yeah. as well, it actually goes down <laughs> underneath. It's got another two levels under it. So, <laughs> come on, Keg, we can do this. Okay. I'm sure we can. How hard, okay. how hard can it be being in a huge, great penitentiary? Just too big. And we're not even going to be together, are we? No. Because we've only got half an hour now. Mm -hmm. So, okay. That's going to be good. Yeah. Right. So where do you remember where Death Row was? Um, I think it's down here with the lights on. Oh, this is this really creepy one, isn't it? Is that? Is that the one you're going down? Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Even the ones. Oh, this was the, um, the ones that were really bad. The ones that were bad. And these used to be one cell, didn't they? So that yeah. used to be, so these used to be, where it's now, one whole cell. They used to be the individual yeah. ones. What do you think? Well, one of us definitely needs to be down here. I'm happy to pick this one. All right. So this is death row, guys. This is... Uh, Shit, shit, shit. Not on edge at all. So. Okay. So there we go. It is. You can see. Extremely hot. In here. So if we get anything. Cool. Any cold spots. Then, uh, now I am going to put Vox on, just in the background. All right, there is anybody in here. My name's Alison. We'd love to talk to somebody, if there is anybody here tonight. We've got some lights on the floor there. If you can light any of those lights up, it just helps me know that you're there. That's all. I'm just going to turn this torch off so it's darker. All right. It's very dark. So if I turn this around, guys. In reality, that's how dark it is for me. In here. With our infrared. a knock. Is that you knocking? So my chest is heavy. And my breathing. Now that could just be that because I am in here on my own. Another knock down the end there. If you're down the end, you can always come and chat. I'm not going to provoke you. I'm not going to be disrespectful. Where I am now, um, is where they used to put the ones that were really badly behaved, that were constantly badly behaved, so that's why they put them in here. Okay, so, I'll give you an idea on how dark this is. That, that light that you see is actually coming from my camera, so I'll take that light away. It is absolutely pitch black in here. I cannot see a thing. So if everybody here, I'm going to put this little box on the floor. Okay. Can you tell me what your name is, please? Oh, 
what's it like in here for you? The green light on the end on the flux has gone off, guys. Thank you for that, if that was you. Is there anybody that you miss? Any family or friends? I'm actually feeling quite cool now. Not cold. A cool breeze. Okay, guys, I'm going to get the voice record. I'm going to. That was my stomach, by the way. Leave me alone. Oh, sorry. Don't mean to upset you. Actually, feeling quite cool now. Not cold. What was that? Cool breeze. Can you hear that? The voice seemed to copy Keg, but when looking back, it actually was Keg, and this is why it's important to run a video camera. I'm actually feeling quite cool now. I'm actually feeling quite cool now. Well, Maybe possibly, possibly weird noises on there, but so that thing that I've got by my feet Oops. that says words. So maybe you can manipulate that and say something on it. Okay, go. Ahead. Have you got a name? Whoever's in here. I keep thinking, when I turn my head, I keep thinking there's something shadowy behind me, but when I really look, there's nothing there. So it's just peripheral. You kind of feel like you're being watched. I'm going to say all you got to do is light the lights up and just let me know you're there. And that would be appreciated. There's a big noise down there, guys. And next to me. Very cold on my shirt. Are you standing next to me? Noises. Well, I'm going to put this down here. Some noise at the end there. There's a lot of noise coming down from the end. I'm going to sit this down. What time is it? Nothing like this. noise at the end. I was really hoping you'd do something for us. Make some noise. Bang on something. Can you go to the triangle at the end? Soon. Oh, thank you. So we've got a red light, sudden increase in temperature and a change in air pressure. Thank you for that. Can you do that again for me? My stomach. Sudden cold change and a change in air pressure. Thank you. Help me. Ooh, 
What help do you need? How can I help you? Over here. Where are you? You need to light a light up. Let me know. If there's a light near you, can you light it up for me, please? And I'll know where you are. You have to let me know where you are. Psychic. I'm not psychic. Yeah, good. Do you want me to finish? Five minutes Estes in here, five minutes Estes upstairs. Yep, cool. That's actually. Have you got headphones? Um, it's really quiet, yeah, it is quite down here. Okay. So we're going to do an Estes. All right, so if there's anybody here, my name is Cag. What's your name? Can you tell me your name, please? Love you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Bit eerie, but nice. Thank you. Can We're you talking. Yeah, we are talking. Can you tell me? Show me. Show you what? Show you what? What would you like me to show you? I don't know where this is going, but anyway, it's a bit strange. What did you do to be put in here? Can you tell me? You've been a bit of a pain. Yes, dead. Can I ask what happened to you? Do you know what happened to you? I think that was say go, bitch. Oh, that's not very nice. Stop. Stop what? If you don't want us in here, do something. Do something to make us leave. It's up to you. The choice is yours. Work not much. No? No. Doesn't feel like there's anything at all. No. I agree. Day. Can we try one upstairs? Yeah. I'll leave my camera going on down here. Don't leave. Don't leave. Is what you say? Yeah. Bet there. Alright, so that lady that you see down there, she has got um, what we call headphones on. Bitch. Oh, okay. And she's going to listen. But you don't have to call me a bitch. You don't have to call me a bitch though. Can be sometimes. George. Is that your name? Is your name? Yes. Is your name George? So George, what were you put? Oh, this is not connected to me. So George, what were you put in for? The worst. The worst. Murder. Goodbye. Oh, don't say goodbye. Who, who's her? Who do you get want? Out. Okay, is that me that needs to get out? Or do you not want CAG here? So, how many are in here? How many are talking to us at the moment through this? Bored. Bored? You probably do get bored of people coming in all the time, don't you? I'm sorry, I would be bored too. Great. Great. Okay. Did you have a girlfriend? A wife? 
children. Oh, EDI just went. EDI is going off, guys. Who do you want to answer? I don't mean to get Keg's backside, but I'm looking at the EDI in front of her. Who do you want to get out? Both of us? We're going soon. What did you do while you were in here? Good that we're going soon. So did you hurt somebody? Do you want to hurt us? This is fun. It's fun. Hurting people or what we're doing now? I gather you weren't in here for nice stuff, so how many people did he hurt? I do not want to talk about that. I, I don't blame me if you don't want to talk about it. We can talk about something else. Did he have children? Hi, did he have a wife? I never. You never did? Did he have a love, a sweetheart? A boyfriend? Yes. Oh, you had a boyfriend. All right. No judgments here. All right, guys, that sounds like somebody behind me. There's somebody moving. There's somebody coming up behind me. No. No? Would you like us to just go? Come on, boys. Come on out. Come on out and talk to us. Still. Hiya. Hello. Who's this? Hiya. Hiya? Or do you mean that you're further up? We can't come any further up because the cell's up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it was. All right, well, I'm going to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye back? Can you say goodbye? All right, goodbye. I can't flash it. I don't know where my torch is. Oh, that was a good shot. Now, that could have been... Me dropping my torch, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. You're touching... Gunshot. <laughs> it's a real sounding gunshot. Okay. Then I felt as though something touched my arm. I don't know if it was a hair or something. I just felt as though something touched my arm. Oh, well, I just told them that uh, we were leaving. Okay. That was weird. Always quiet. Then there was a. Okay. Anything? Um, well, apart from bitch, get out and stuff like that. But nothing, nothing concrete. I just thought that was weird because it stopped, it's almost as though it stopped clicking. Hmm. Then you had the... Okay. 
I, the only bit I thought is I thought I got something coming up behind me here. And I thought I was going to turn around and find the two guys, though, but there's nobody there. So I don't know. And there's a bang next to me here as well. How loud was the bang? Not very loud. It was more of a tap on the window, and that was a while back. So that wouldn't account for. It's, that was weird. It said something stopped clicking. Mm hmm. And then there was a bang. You know. Okay. That was quite unnerving. <laughs> Yeah. Just yeah, just normal. And then you hear a gunshot. Mm -hmm. Which is a bit weird. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think they want to take us to the gas chamber mm -hmm. and do some stuff down there. So mm -hmm. I guess we should start packing up. And moving on to the death chamber. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what we should do. Okay. All right. All right. Unfortunately, we ran out of time to investigate the gas chamber, but we thought we'd leave you with a little look around.